How can I use Facebook to promote my business? Welcome to my world. My name is Reginald Gardner. One of the first things we're going to talk about is your profile picture. Here you see me pointing at the pencil sketch behind me. That's all well and good, but this is really not a good profile picture. Remember, we're talking about Facebook. And what people want to see is your face. If you do not have a good profile picture, it might be to your advantage to have a professional picture made that you can use on Facebook. And remember when you put a profile picture up there you want to have a big smile. <laughs> yeah, I think you get the picture. So, as we continue with Facebook, you want to make sure that you fill in the About Me section. In the About Me section, there's going to be several tabs that need to be filled in. Your work and your education. Then your places that you lived. Your contact and basic info. Your family and your relationships details about you. Now this is very important. This is where you put in your wow factor. Remember this is Facebook. People come to Facebook to connect with people, with friends and with family and to make new friends. And so in your details you need to put something in there that draws people to you. Be creative then your life events. And when you fill these in, make sure you make it all public. For example, there are many people on Facebook who have not filled these things in or they have been uh, very lax in filling in maybe one or two. They become invisible to the people who are coming onto Facebook people want to know who they're connecting to. The other thing that you do not want to do, you do not want to make your phone number public. That you want to keep private. Also you do not want to put your business URL on here and you think, well, wait a minute, that's exactly why I'm here to promote my business. Yes, I understand that. And there's a proper way to do that. But you do not want to put your business URLs on your Facebook page. For example, all of us get phone calls. And you get those phone calls that almost immediately they're trying to sell you something. And I would say that probably 99% of you folks hang up on that call people do not want to be sold. It's the same thing with Facebook. People do not want to be sold on Facebook. They're here to connect with friends and family and to make new friends. But that does not mean you cannot use this to promote your business. There is a proper way to do that and I go into that in more detail in other videos. So do not put your URL here. Alright, as we look at this Facebook page, up there you'll see the blue bar and to the right you'll see a circle that looks like the globe or the earth and to the right of that you have a blue drop down arrow and when you hit that you'll come to this help section or help center 
and everything is pretty self-explanatory. Number one, they actually have a link that will help you in setting up or creating a page. Number two, it says choose a page category and we're going to get into that further in this video. Number three, it says select a more specific category and that's building on step number two. Number four, click to get started. And so we're going to cover those in this video. Below that we have related topics. What page names are we to use or allowed to use on Facebook? I would get familiar with that because you do not want to have your page taken down before you even get started. Also, how do I uh, use my personal information on a Facebook page or connect to a Facebook page with my personal information? And I would get familiar with that as well. Alright, here's the page they're talking about that had the categories. You have six different categories to choose from local business or place. To the right of that you have company, organization, or institution. To the right of that you have brand or product. Down below to the left you have artist, band, or public figure. To the right of that you have entertainment. To the right of that you have cause or community. Alright, just a brief definition of those six categories. Up there in the upper left hand corner you have your local business. That's talking about if you have a storefront or a brick and mortar business. Then to the right of that you have company organization or institution. You may have or own a company or you may own an online business and that goes here. To the right of that brand or product talking about uh, those big brand names and that goes here. Then in the lower left you have artist, band or public figure uh, dealing with personalities or talents that goes here. Then you have entertainment uh, to the right of that and then to the right of that you have cause or community. All right. Going back up there to the upper left hand corner, we see that there's a drop down with a category. You can drop that window down, gives you quite a selection there. You want to fill in the name of your business, the contact information, and then there's that uh, blue button to get started. To the right of that you have your company, uh, organization, or institution. You have again a category that uh, drops down, gives you a selection, you put in, in your company name and then you get started. To the right of that you have your brand or your product. There will be uh, a quite large uh, selection of brands there which you will select and then you'll choose the, your brand or your product and you'll get started. Down in the uh, lower left you have your artist, your band, or public figures dealing with personalities. Uh, could be an athlete, could be a dancer, could be a writer, an author, etc, etc, etc. You choose uh, the appropriate category, uh, your name, and then uh, get started. To the right of that, entertainment. Maybe uh, you have a radio station or a book series or a library, etc., etc. You'll choose then from your category, again, name, and then get started. Then to the right of that, cause or community. This is a charity, this is a non profit. Maybe uh, you're having a fun drive. Maybe it has to do with cancer. 
or maybe it's a, a church event, a charity, something that is a, a non-profit. You'll put in that cause or whatever that charity is and then get started. All right. Well, we've covered uh, how to build your your business page. And I appreciate again you visiting my page and down below each page there I have the http colon forward slash forward slash www.reginaldgardner.com I have a wealth of information on my site that deals more in depth with Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, how to, uh, to build a lucrative business from your home. If you're interested in that, please visit my site. And again, thank you for uh, visiting my page. And God bless you in your endeavors.